Hey everyone, welcome to Brick Vault. Today is another LEGO weekly news update. Lots of things happened in the world of LEGO this week. Number one, Trolls World, World Tour sets for 2020 uh, have been announced. That's definitely a shocker. Totally blindsided by that one for me. Uh, the new picture, sorry, the official pictures for the hidden side sets are now out. So those are all the nice high quality photos. We're gonna be talking a little bit more in detail about those sets this episode. The review stage for ideas, the first review stage for ideas has officially closed. So we'll do a recap on everything that has been voted in with 10,000 votes. And I know there's one other thing, right? The June store calendar, that's also uh, kind of cool. So we know what's gonna be coming down uh, the line for June. But first, before we get into all of that and more, what did we put up in the web store this week? This is the taxi, the flying one from the movie, The Fifth Element. It's a pretty darn classic sci-fi build. I know lots of people have been uh, making this in Lego throughout the years. And it seems to be just a nice model that converges old classic elements from maybe the 1940s or 50s with of course the futuristic concept of flying cars. It's incredibly sturdy, it's got a fully fleshed out interior, custom stickers, and of course the building instructions can be found at our web store that's www.brickvault.toys. And before I get into the Trolls World Tour news, I'm actually making a slight addendum at the end of this video. I noticed this article just came out at alantran at thebrickfan.com. Two new Harry Potter, Lego Harry Potter sets have been revealed. Number one is Arrival at Hogwarts, set number 759. 958 has 430 pieces and will retail for $49.99. Includes another set with Hagrid and probably one of the single best carriage builds LEGO has ever made. The flying horses are an excellent touch, the minifigures are awesome, and just in general this latest Harry Potter line that's coming down the way looks like it's full of all really nice sets. This other one's a bit less flashy, it's called The Rise of Voldemort. Set number 75965 has 184 pieces and will sell for $19.99. This one's a little bit more basic. It's got the uh, Goblet of Fire, Voldemort, one of the Death Eaters. Sorry, I'm not good with the characters. It's been a long time since I've read the books or watched the movies, but the main build for the graveyard isn't too bad. And anyways, let's move on to the Trolls World Tour. This news, news, comes from Twitter, Lego's Twitter. It says, it's all glitter and happiness. Hashtag DreamWorks Troll Tour coming 2020. You can see a short minifigure, pink skin, and and a uh, print on the front that says Trolls World Tour. Not gonna lie, I had no idea what this was for. And apparently they're doing a sequel to the 2016 animated Trolls movie, which I didn't even know came out. And apparently, yeah, there's gonna be a uh, minifigure line or maybe a line of sets to go along with it. If you look at Lego Twitter and just the comments, uh, you'll get a general impression of people um, not being a big fan of this announcement, either not liking the Troll project property at all or just wanting other things that have come from DreamWorks in the past because there are a lot of memorable characters and universes. Now I personally can't join the hate bandwagon. I have not seen the Trolls stuff so who knows maybe it's actually good. Generally speaking I don't know or care anything about the line. I really didn't know it existed uh, aside from just having you know seen those little troll dolls from however many years ago. I didn't even know they still existed either. But long story short those will be coming 2020, and my gut feeling tells me it's going to be something like the Angry Birds theme uh, that came out not too long ago. A somewhat known but kind of unknown kids line is going to have maybe a theme of sets and probably just fall into the abyss of sets that nobody really remembers or cares about that much, even though I did like the pig pirate set from Angry Birds. Okay, let's move on to the next bit of news. The June store calendar has been officially released. Least. So let's just go through some of the promotions, even though we don't exactly know what that gift with purchase promotion will be or when it will be during the month. But from the 1st to the 31st, there will be double VIP points on certain sets that will eventually be featured. Uh, we don't know what those are yet. From June 3rd to the 22nd, you can visit your local Lego store to build a rocket and launch it into space. On the 12th, you can build a necktie for dad or someone special. I'm not sure what holiday that entails or why it's a necktie. Maybe somebody 
in the comments below knows. And the 17th is Minifigure Swap Monday, and the 21st is a Duplo building event. Also, we're about to get into the hidden side official picks, but I just did want to show you guys that the Statue of Liberty, or the Lady Liberty, set number 40367 has officially, uh, the official images have been revealed. Looks like an awesome Brickheads fig. I can't wait to get this one. It looks like she's going to first be available July or July 4th for Independence Day here in the States, and then worldwide right after. 153 pieces. She's going to sell for $9.99, like all Brickheads figs. And you know what? I just did a ton of recording talking all about the Dark Side sets. Re listen to it and realize it's kind of long, kind of boring. I'm going to give you the basic takeaway. In general, I'm not a big fan of how the box art doesn't feature the completed set in its entirety undisturbed, I should say, but instead they rely on a lot of effects, and I feel like they're more pushing the cool feature of the app uh, instead of the actual build. Even though I don't think the builds, in general, I don't think the builds are particularly bad for this wave. In fact, they seem all right. I do like the neon green weapons and or minifigure items uh, that come in each of the sets. In general, the minifigs by far, I think, are the most attractive part of this set for me, just in terms of bricks and pieces. I like the color combination used for the train. The graveyard set doesn't look too bad, and the monster truck uh, is actually pretty decent. I feel like it fits in pretty well with the LEGO Creator or LEGO City scale, so that should be kind of fun. And also, I'd say the prices are very fair for all of these sets. Okay, I seriously just took 11-12 minutes worth of video and cut it down to just that. I don't know if this hidden side is based on a new TV show that's going to be associated with it. Telling you right now, I'm probably not going to watch it if it is. I'm having enough trouble trying to get through Resistance. And the only show for sure in the future that I can say I'm going to be watching all the way through is The Mandalorian. Let me know what you guys think about the hidden side wave in general. I haven't really talked about it so much. I want to be into it, but generally speaking, I have a feeling it's just going to be okay. Righto, more news. The Stranger Things teasers have been starting to drop from Lego. We have the save the date teaser here. It's upside down, haha. <laughs> That's for May 15th. And then also on the Lego Facebook, there is this little Lego police cruiser set done in the old 80s fashion. It looks like it's recorded on an old VHS tape or something like that. Technically, I can't say anything about Stranger Things, uh, but you guys should be excited. Be excited for May 15th. Also visit our channel on May 15th for any reason, not necessarily related to this, not necessarily not related to this, moving on to the next bit of news. You guys remember that Star Wars visual dictionary that came out recently? No? Yeah, well, we don't <laughs> we don't remember it that well either. Uh, it's the one that has the exclusive fin that came out when I accidentally teased the creation of the Star Wars Resurgent Class Star Destroyer. Uh, there is now a visual dictionary. I think it's the exact same one with maybe slightly more info on the inside, maybe an extra few pages of something. Uh, and it's got a different color, and it's part of the 20th anniversary series all of a sudden. I don't believe the figure, I don't believe that fin figure is different or exclusive in any way, but I guess there's just different exclusive artwork that's come out for it recently. There's also several Amazon sales that are linked in the description below. Personally, I think the best ones out of all of them are the uh, 50 over 50% off for the mini figurehead sorting bins. We've got one here in the studio. It is actually really useful. We don't use it as much as we should just because it looks so good visually uh, <laughs> that we always keep it up on a shelf. But anyways, uh, I think they're only 16 bucks or 17 bucks right now on Amazon. Not a bad deal for those. And then finishing off with Lego ideas. No new sets got 10,000 votes of support, but I did want to mention that the the first review stage of 2019 has officially closed off, so that means everything voted in so far for this year is now going to be reviewed in its own little chunk of nine sets. So these ones are all going to be sort of, I guess, competing with each other. I don't really know if you can call it a competition. Sometimes multiple get chosen in a round, sometimes none. It really just depends on what the LEGO Ideas review team finds suitable as a set. But anyways, going through all nine, there is the National Museum of Rio de Janeiro, Anatomy, the Office, that's the NBC version, not the British version, the Pirate Bay, the Cockapoo, SpaceX BRF, and Starship and Super Heavy, built at the 1 in 110 scale. Then there's the Adams Family Mansion, 123 Sesame Street, and Machu Picchu. 
At this point, it's really hard to predict, I think, what actually gets turned into a set. There's a few that I don't feel like would probably make it, but hands down the number one set that I am personally rooting for to get voted and turned into an actual set from these nine is the Anatomy. It's just so weird and interesting, and I love the concept. I don't know if LEGO would be willing to solidify this weird lore of a skeleton actually being inside a LEGO minifigure, or if they do it just for fun, but personally, uh, I, I want that one to succeed more than the rest. Yes, I am biased. Let me know what you guys think about these nine sets. Which one do you think is the strongest? Also, what do you think about the hidden side sets? Trolls World Tour line? Whatever it is, let me know, and I think that's it for the news. All right, that is it for this episode, everybody. Remember, top 10 mocks of the week are tomorrow. We are going to be doing a brick vlog next week as well. And if you enjoy our content, you can always like or subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you next time at Brickfall. Hey everybody, wanted to pop in very quickly, let you know that we've got a LEGO web store, www.brickvault.toys, where we sell these step-by-step -step instructions for some incredibly awesome LEGO mocks. The revenue from the web store helps support us here at the channel, as well as the designers that build these amazing LEGO designs. So anyways, thanks a lot for watching, everybody. Check us out at www.brickvault.toys, and we'll see you next time at Brick Vault.